So Victor Axelson continues his run of form, having won the World Championships in Glasgow last month, through to the Japan Open final for a second time, two years after the first. Just one more semi-final to come, and it features the current world number ones and number twos. Number three and two seeds here, though, so at the Japan Open. It's Gideon and Sukumolio against Bo and Morganson. Well, as far as the draw is concerned, we saw earlier on that history was made with Inoue and uh, Kanako. First Japanese pair to make it through to the final here at their home Super Series event. But who will they play? It's interesting also that, of course, four different nations at semi-final stage, and that's the same as the men's singles. So men's discipline in badminton at the moment, very open. As we wait for the two pairs to come onto court. Of course, there's action going on on the adjoining courts. Women's doubles action and all Japanese affair in the women's doubles and I can tell you to bring you right up to date that the Olympic champions Matsutomo and Takahashi have taken the opening game 21-11 against the world championship silver medalist Fukushima and Hirota. So that's all happening on the adjoining court. I can also tell you to bring you up to date with the mixed doubles news is that the qualifiers, Hoki and Hirota, are through to the final of the mixed doubles, beating Pranav Jerry Chotra and Suki Reddy in three games. So here comes the players for the last of our semi-finals. It's Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukumolio up against Matthias Bo and Carsten Morgensen. Well, when you consider all the achievements of the Danes over the 14 years of their partnership, and yes, I really did say 14, 1-4, they have never been in the final here of the Japan Open. 28 Super Series tournament finals, but never here at this particular one. Of course, last week they won their 16th Super Series title when they won the Korean Open. Third Korean Open title in their fifth final at that particular event. And as far as their overall career is concerned, the Danes could make a milestone today in their own personal career history because they have already contested 49 super, uh, not super series, 49 international tournament finals. Can they make it 50? Well, we saw earlier on Lee Chong Wei has made it through to his hundreds international tournament final. Now we're going to have another little milestone with this Danish men's doubles pair. Well, when the Indonesians are playing well, they're one of the most dynamic, exciting pairs in world badminton. 
And there is Marcus Finaldi Gideon, 26 year old, born in Jakarta. He's actually been in eight Super Series tournament finals, having won seven of them. Their first loss in a Super Series tournament final was last week. Uh, but only, only seven of his eight finals have been with this man, Kevin Sanjaya Sukamolio. They were number one in the world for a total of 12 weeks across two different spells. And as we saw earlier in the day, they are number one on the Super Series standings at the moment. The reason they're number one on the Super Series standings is because they've been in four Super Series tournament finals so far. There you can see their path through to today's semi-final. Three games against Hoki and Kobe Ashi. And then yesterday against Astrop and Rasmussen. They were actually 18-20 down in that second game before winning it 22-20, so a run of four straight points to close out that game. So Matthias Boll has extended his record as the oldest ever winner of a men's Super Series, men's double Super Series title. 37 years, two months and six days when he won the last Sunday at the Korean Open. They were semi-finalists four years ago here at this particular event, lost out to Chai Biao and the now retired Hong Wei of China. Carsten Morgensen is 34 years of age, born in Oroskila. There's a very wonderful Viking ship museum in that city. Now currently number one in the world ranking enjoying their 68th week in total as world number ones. And there you can see in the first round, they beat the Olympic bronze medalists, Ellis and Langridge. In the second round, they beat the mixed nationality pairing of Setia Wan and Tan Boon Hyong, who were beaten finalists in the Australian Super Series event. And yesterday, beat their teammates, the number six seeds, Mads Conrad and Mads Collin. So this will be the sixth meeting between these two pairs. And of the previous five, the Danes have won four of them, including the last three. And of course, the last time was last week in the final. And it was an hour and eight minutes for that final last week in Seoul. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Marcus Fernandez Gideon, Kevin Sanja Skamburjo, Indonesia. And on my left, Matthias Borg, Carlsen Morgensen, Denmark. Matthias Borg to serve to Fernandez Gideon. Labo. Break. So the second of the men's doubles semi finals gets on the way. One, go. All of their previous five meetings, it's gone the full distance when these two pairs have met on four of those five occasions. pair at semi-final stage that didn't consist of a left and right hander. Uh, 
Victory Hall. We've seen a rally so far, have we? Fort Rally. took it. Mm. Just enough pace on the return of serve to make it awkward for bowl. front of the court when he's on form. Kevin Sanjaya, Sukkumolio. Close. Left. 
Oh, I told you he was quick. to the mid-game interval. Gideon and Sukkamolio, three-point advantage. Kim Nielsen, Danish coach. These two pairs between them have won five of the previous seven Super Series tournaments this year. This pair from Indonesia. Well, they've been in four finals from seven tournaments in total. That, of course, includes the World Championships. The Danes have been in five finals from eight tournaments. Twelve, eight. It's good judgment. That's just long. Tried to get out of the way, Carsten Morgensen. Shuttle hit him. Oh, essentially a run of five straight points from Ace Hall. The service so night, Sartine. Super Series title, Matthias Ball, but he's not the oldest ever finalist. That honour lies with Jens Eriksson, another Dane, when he reached the final of the 2007 Denmark Open. 37 years of age, 9 months and 28 days. Oh, that's a great shot. And there's the super rally, too. Over. 14, 10. Nice block there from Matthias Boat. Move forward, but Thank what you. a super, super Thank shot you. from Sukkamolio. Finish off the rally. It's amazing. Yes, it was very near the edge of the court where Carsten Morgensen dived and all the perspiration from his shirt will have been left on the court surface. Oh, 
did that come back? That's just phenomenal. Oh, there's a challenge here from the Indonesians. Well, well, I'm not sure the challenge has happened. Let's see what Hawkeye say. Hawkeye say it was clearly out. Morbo is suggesting that it touched the body of Sukamolio. Oh, it was a phenomenal rally. It was just extraordinary defence from Sukamolio. to break down the defence of the Indonesians. dynamic, exciting pairs to watch. Look at that. What? Well, he created his own luck by taking 13, it early. 13. Body movement going forward as well. He was following forward to the net. First of the match. 14, 18. Yeah, got deflected by hitting the top of the tape. Master Morganson having to sway the body out of the way, try and give himself the freedom to play the defensive shot. So five game point opportunities for the Indonesian pair of Gideon and Sukumolio. What'll do? 21-15. 
in double quick time. 17 minutes. Oh, they do look sharp, I have to say, Gideon and Sukumolio. Good interception. The opening game, 21-15. Hver gang vi flytter med det, og der er lang længde nok på, så slår de en position på den første. Det ser Kevin frem, og så er der god plads foran Markus. Det er ham, vi kan udfordre på den forbane. Lige nu har Kevin ramt alt her. Og det er okay, du må godt, hvis han kan fortsætte sådan. Men han skal spille endnu bedre i anden sæt, så han skal vente. Vi skal lige have lidt mere tid på, når det er kun fordi, vi giver med på dumme på den der. Vi holder fast i, at vi skal tage pauserne, når vi får point her, så vi lige bliver skarpe i aftalerne. Og så snakke sammen derinde, så vi tog til. Så hvis de der tryk, der kommer ned, hvis de kan, så ser vi, at de blokker mod foran til dem, fordi de står altså ind overhovedet på den første der. De står vildt meget og pakker dem. Yes. I ved, hvad der skal til, drenge. Okay. Kort 120 seconds. So the two coaches, Kim Nielsen and Harry Benamadi, have had their influence and their say. Now it's down to the players. to this second game. That was brilliant. to smash that time, that's clever. Not just variation of pace, variation on the trajectory. Another flatter one. There's no call from the line judge. Three, two. It was so clearly long. Oh. Well, that would have been the shot of the week had that worked. Stayed in with the drift. Well, he doesn't four. like the call. I think it's just frustration, really. I suspect the coaches may be saying 
Think about the drift there. Well, I was saying so. earlier that Gideon and Sukumolia won their first six Super Series tournament finals. And last week in their seventh final was the first time that they had lost. Winning six consecutive is, or six, your first six finals is not actually a record. Not only did the young day, a new young son of Korea, also achieve that, but better than that was Koo Kyung Kyat and Tan Boon Hyong. Because that Malaysian men's doubles pair won their first seven Super Series tournament finals. I'm not sure I've got that right, actually. They may have won seven on the trot, but I think their first ever final was here at Japan, where they lost. 2006. Of course, it wasn't a Super Series. Super Series started in 2007. There you go. Another little senior moment. Just wide. Sun so six, seven. Amazing badminton. Look at that behind the back. Longest rally of the match, too. Defensive shot from Carsten Eight, Morgensen. Seven.
deflected by the net court making it difficult to defend no. so quick to see the opportunity in discussion. any backswing of the racket to play that powerful shot and Matthias Bowes at the very next rally says well you're not the only one who can do that this went straight through Gideon and Sukkamoli up a two-point advantage. Had a three-point advantage in the opening game. Still haven't been playing for a half an hour yet. We're already at the mid-game interval of the second game. <laughs> Servisnya dipanjangin terus yeah. dia berani. Servisnya dipanjangin kalau dipanjangin dia pembukaannya enggak bisa. Dia saat di pintu. Uh, iya. Pintu maju duluan. Ya udah, kalau di pintu kan datang boleh pelan dia digesek itu bagus. Ini kita dorong panjang dia enggak bisa. Pop, bam, take it, take it. Kita off it. Hello, hands for them today. Take it in the corner with the foul it's in. Thank you. Come sir, thank you. Yeah, come sir. did awfully well to stay in that rally. That just simply too much pressure from the Indonesians and too much change of pace. Look at that. Lovely.
Oh, it's incredible. Well, it's all getting very fast and furious, and I think that's going to suit the Indonesians far more than the Danes. and it'll take uh, the pace off the shuttle occasionally. Return of serve. Well, so too was that from the Tears Bow. Serve return and third shot. We always talk about how crucial they are in doubles. But it really does set the tone of the rally. Mm. He deliberately left that. He thought it was going to go long. Two points away from a fifth Super Series tournament final this year. Gideon and Sukamolio. One point away. Well, they've been on fire today. The Indonesians, they've been utterly brilliant. Six match point opportunities. Test a fifth Super Series tournament final this year. 21 15, 21 14, the margin of their victory against the world number one, Spor Morgensen. Just 37 minutes for that victory. They reverse the result of the final last week at the Korean Super Series. This pair from Indonesia.
in a moment of victory. Well, the record for the number of Super Series tournament finals in one calendar year is six. But there is their victory. 21-15, 21-14. That record, of course, in the men's doubles discipline. Lee Young Day and Yu Young Sun. So as far as today is concerned, well, it all started with a moment of history because Lee Chong Wei, the defending champion and six-time winner, has reached a ninth final here in 11 years. But not only that, it's his hundredth international tournament final that he will contest tomorrow. Then there was more history in the men's doubles, which we were able to enjoy because of the sad news of Nozomi Okuhara, the recently crowned world champion who wasn't able to compete against the two-time former world champion, Carolina Marin. But we had the joy of watching Inoue and uh, Kanako, the first pair from the host nation, to contest a men's doubles final here at the Japan Open. That, of course, is tomorrow. Then it was women's doubles and qualifiers, and for only the fifth time in Super Series history, a pair who started in the qualifying of the women's doubles will contest the final because Kim and Kong from Korea managed to beat Fukuman and Yonao in two straight games. Victor Axelson, the newly crowned world champion, beat the world number one, Son Wan Ho, and he looked very impressive in that victory, 21-16, 21-16. And as we've just seen, as with the previous match with the number one and two players or pairs in the world, well, it was the number two ranked pair, Gideon and Sukamolio, who beat the number ones, Bo and Morganson. So a fifth Super Series tournament final awaits for that pair from Indonesia. Finals tomorrow, of course, at 12 noon, same time as today. That's local time. That's 0300 GMT from all of us here in Tokyo, especially from me, Jill Clark. I'll see you tomorrow for the finals. Bye for now.